zoom is really stubborn. Every time when there is a bit of dirt on the lenses, glass here, I obsessively clean it just to make sure there is nothing there. And I usually use my t-shirt for it, but look how clean it is, no scratches. I made a hole in my case for the microphone, but that's a long story. Okay, so there is the notification. You have the Xperia system update. To get the system update to check for the updates, you can go to settings and then system software update. And here you can do a check for update, but now there is no option to check for update because we have an update. So I'm going to try it. The update. Okay, so this version 67.1.8.2.1 A2. This is really complicated. So the update is 67.1.8.2.182, 502.4 megabytes. It's a download. I don't know exactly what it's uh, containing. There is no changelog yet for this. The changelog is always late for this kind of stuff, but let's do it anyway. So I will update it and find out later what it's about. The update is pretty large, but it's downloading pretty quickly. The thing that takes time with this is the next steps. The step 1, 2, 3 takes forever, really. But, yeah, I didn't check if the phone is charged. Yeah, you should start with the charged phone. And for safety, for safety, I will plug in a charger also. Just to make sure battery is all nice and fresh. It's charging. See this charging indicator. Yeah, okay, so it's installing step one of three. I'll put in the description, I'll put a link to the version history and by the time you watch this video, probably there will be their details about this version. The phone is already, this is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5 or Sony Xperia 1 5 and it has this has this nice three lenses. This is the telephoto supposedly. This is the main lens and this is the wide and the phone already is on Android 14. So this is the first update on the phone after getting Android 14. The previous update it was Android 14 and now it's an update on the existing Android 14. So I will put in the description the link of the details of the version of the updating from. Actually I can show you now. Let's see. Before it's doing the update. Let's go to about. This is the version now 67.1.8.2.112. This is the current version. Model of the phone XQDQ54, the EU version. And Android 14. I like that it's not showing the IMEE number by default. Before it used to show, now it's not showing them. Yeah, it's doing it. You can use your phone while you're doing this, but it's better not to use it and have it charging. If you have any problems with the black screen, for example, when you, you're stuck on the Xperia logo or you're stuck on the Sony logo, remove the SIM card tray. And if you have a memory card in there, remove the memory card. Even you should actually remove the SIM card completely while you do this, just to make sure, take out any chances of failure. If that happens, you might be able to go back through the phone, like it will uh, just revert to the previous version. 
or you might have to use the Xperia Companion app, the Sony Companion app, where there might be some data loss. But I, I'd never had to use that app, and I have. I hope I don't have to use it. But yeah, I never had an update failing. Hopefully, it never happens, because I really don't want that. I want to be able to use my phone, and it's a bit strange not to see what changed in updates because there is no updated version history but you would want to update anyway unless there is a really big problem with the updates and and they, you see that uh, there is a chance to break, supposedly break the device but I went to reddit and I asked if someone installed it and I've seen people saying that they installed it so if they installed it I can install it and I will show you how I'm installing it right now. So I will skip now to step three before we fall asleep here. And time now is 7.12. 7, 12 minutes past seven. I can't remember how when I started. So you check the time, how long it takes to do this and let me know. So far, Looks good, no signs of trouble, it's still installing, if you're doing something else you will see notification, if you're doing other things while installing the update, you will see the progress in the notification screen, for example I can do something else, I can see it still going on, tap and you get back to the screen. Okay, we're at 90, 97%, so that's pretty close. Let's watch it happening. Ninety-eight. So we should have a button. Oh, ninety-nine. So it's finally ready. Okay, okay, so we are ready to do the restart. I'll put the phone on the desk. Okay, this is how long it takes to do the restart. It's gonna be real time, I think, or we'll see, maybe I speed up a little bit. I still have it charging. This could be stuck here. This could be a problem it's stuck on this logo, on the Sony logo. Could be stuck on the Sony logo or on the next logo. It's taking too long. It's still taking. Come on, come on. Really? Okay. Or it could be stuck here on the Xperia logo. I never had this, I don't know how it looks like, but this is from what I heard. You can have the phone stuck on the Sony logo or on the Xperia logo. I think when it's stuck on the Sony logo, it's a bootloader problem. It's trying to boot from the memory card for some reason so that's why I say to remove the card to try but this one seems to be successful I think okay I have to enter but battery 79% 7.30 the time, so it took about half hour, more than half hour, 40 minutes. Okay, once I enter the password, take some time. Okay, seems to work, so I lock it. And if I try to, ah, I removed it. 
don't know what I did with that anyway so let's go into settings quickly the system software update no apps and you get the notification the update was installed successfully this is also good to have it and you have the latest latest version latest Xperia version now we are at 67.1 Point eight, point two, point one eight two. This is the version history. The previous version was sixty seven point one point eight point two point point one one two. This was Android fourteen. It got decent updates, I think. Don't know. Hope they keep it up in this way. One thing to check, you go to Google. No, after you do the update, make sure you also update the Play Store security update. So go to security, Google Play Store, Google Play system update. And if it needs an update, it will ask you to restart here. If it doesn't ask you to restart, it's okay. It has the latest. Google, this is the Google Play system update in the security menu yeah so now we have same model xq xqdq xqdq54 android 14 still android 14 67.1.a.2.182 this is the latest firmware so camera video pro app where is the version? One, this is the version for the Video Pro app. And this is the version for the, for the Photo Pro app. That's all I really care about. Thanks for watching. It's still working. This is pretty good. I'm really glad it's still working. We need to do the updates anyway. I'm glad it's still working. I really need the phone.